Welcome to the guide for a fan favorite, the character Cavalier in the new Spy vs. Spy PvP game Deceive Inc. I'm Black Talon and I'll teach you how to earn your stripes through this guide. Alright, to start us off, first things first, Cavalier is categorized as a tracker character, and trackers focus on finding, singling out, and hunting down targets. The way Cav does this is through good old fashioned investigations. She uses a variety of abilities to track and mark her prey, and she's not afraid to get her claws dirty with a special set of melee perks. Cavalier is definitely one of the more beloved characters in Deceive Inc. because of her loadout and obviously her fantastic aesthetic, and she can be used both passively and aggressively, however, using her correctly will always net you on the aggressive playstyle side. And let's find out why. Starting with her expertise or active ability, there are three different possible variations. First, Cavalier has her investigation ability. Cav will enter a stance where she is able to investigate or scan recent objects that play Players have interacted with. These clues will ultimately give you the ability to see where the rival is for a short period of time. This is probably my favorite ability in the game because of how useful it really is. In case you didn't realize this, you can mark up to three clues from a person to give you a trace of where they are. However, even if you just find one clue from them, you can still close the ability and see where they are for a shorter duration of time. This is very nice too because you can walk around briefly activating this ability over and over again, turning it on and off, and you can see if there's anyone in the area interacting with items, storage, or even opening doors. So if you feel that someone who walked into the room is a rival, just tap the ability and turn it on quickly to see if they've left their trace on the door. Once you know who you're looking for, you can go hunt them down. Her second variation is called It's a Setup. Cavalier will mark a large area, which sometimes can pierce several floors, and if any of the electronics in that area are interacted with, the rival who did so will be marked so that way you can hunt them down. Now this is an awesome ability because it never expires. So you can mark a sensitive area and go anywhere you want and see if somebody ends up going there and then you'll be able to track them down. This is especially useful because half the time I notice that it gets procced, people are scanning with recon goggles, which means even if they're using the recon goggles on one of the electronics in that area, it will still mark them. So really an awesome ability to use. Her last variation is called Redemption. Now this is similar to her first ability. However, Cav will be able to scan fallen players and hollow breadcrumbs or food to find out where the culprit is, who is likely low health, so that way you can track them down. Now let's take a look at her weaponry. So Cavalier generally rocks the dual pistols, and her first variation are called Dragoons. This is a fast firing pair of dual pistols that have alternating shots. Now these do about 12 damage per shot, so they're very powerful and they are very quick. Her second variation, Hydras, is similar, but it hits a little harder as they are synchronized in firing, but it's not as fast, so make sure those shots count. Her last variation, Wyvern, is a mix of the two. They are fast firing synchronized dual pistols. So they're very good, but more effective at close range. So this should be fine as long as you're hunting down prey because you'll be close to whoever it is that you're looking for. Now let's leap into Cavalier's passive ability, starting with Tiger's Leap. This allows Cavalier to charge her melees to fly forward with a player tracking kick to do about 34 damage to her rival. With a kick like that, she must have good cav muscles, am I right? All right, this is the last time, I swear. Her second variation, Maximum Velocity, is similar to the first. However, she does not travel that distance like before, but she gains the amped up speed buff if she lands the hit. This is good if you need to get away or to catch an enemy who is fleeing. Now, I haven't tested this, but if you're able to use this on civilians and proc it, you can seamlessly get the buff to catch an enemy who is far away. So if they're running, you might hit a civilian with it and then you can sprint to catch up to them. But uh, let me know in the comments if this works, because I'm not sure if it does. Her final passive is another melee that deals bonus damage, but this will automatically also slow your rival, so you can follow up a lot more easier. Now let's look at gadgets for Cavalier. Now as far as gadgets goes, as always, there's an array of gadgets you can choose from, and ultimately the right gadgets depend on your playstyle and especially how you want to engage or work a map. So don't feel that my suggestions are the best. Really, you can pick whatever you like based on your preference. However, Cavalier can really benefit the most with gadgets that can help you out in battle, as she is an aggressive character. But even gadgets that help you escape and do some espionage can help you too if you need them. 
So Bullet Brella works really well because it can soak up some damage, but also placing it in front of you can give you space to charge up one of your passive kicks without being exposed, so you can do a little extra damage. You can set up a turret before a fight if you're following somebody who you know is a player, or you can maybe use some traps to help you further track some prey. However, the gadget that I find to be the most effective is actually the goo traps. Now I know not many people use it, but when you are following somebody who you know is a player, you can get really close to them and you can throw down a goo trap. Now when you do this, it will not only slow them, but it will also disable their jump. As we know, many players love to jump around to dodge. However, they won't be able to do that. So if you throw down this glue trap and then just light them up, they won't be able to do anything. And with Cavs really fast dual pistols, it won't be long before they are eliminated. So why don't you give this a try? Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Goo Traps 2023. Now let's look at field upgrades for Cavs. Now for these, of course, as always, you are also completely up to your own choices based on your playstyle. These are the ones that I use personally. Since she is an aggressive character, I opted for health early game in the green slot so that I can get a little bit more of an advantage. And I also went for cooldown in the blue slot so that way I can spam investigate more often mid and late game. Now to give some tips for playing Cavalier, she has a killer melee advantage. So make sure that you use this as an opener if you're tracking down someone. So you want to initiate the fight by launching one of these kicks. She is an aggressive character also, so make sure you're running those investigations. Don't forget that you have that ability just by searching for players and you know doing what people usually do, looking for eliminations. But use those investigations well because it will make it easier for you to do that. And keep in mind that you can trigger this ability on and off and you'll have a reduced cooldown. So quickly just tap it on and off so that way you can see some clues in the area because they do not last forever. That's all I have for Cavalier. Give the video a like if you find this helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And just so you guys know, typically as part of my main videos, I always shout out a smaller channel to help them grow and get more exposure. So if you believe in my cause and want to help me to build a bigger channel to support these smaller channels where people put their heart and soul into their content and maybe just need a little bit more help to succeed, uh, please support the channel by subscribing or commenting or liking the video. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.